Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Katherine Basu. And if you are tuning in the day this episode is scheduled to go live, it is Wednesday, August 29th, 2018, which will become significant in a little while. And is also significant because that means that I have not kept my promise to myself and to you to start season two of the podcast in August, not September, which is what is going to happen. So that's why I'm here today. I'm here to share kind of a behind the scenes update as to what has been going on at the Fit15 and my fitness company, Fit Armadillo, that has caused the delay in the release of the second season. So this will not be your typical episode, but I still encourage you to get up and get moving with me. Take the time to get some steps in, come back to your desk feeling more energized, and yeah, Come, come behind the scenes with me here. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I have three things I wanted to cover on this little behind the scenes episode, so I'll talk to you about those. I do want to mention that I have something planned for you tomorrow, which is August 30th, 2018. So definitely make sure if you are listening when this is going live, the actual day it's going live, to check out the show notes for what I have planned for you tomorrow so you can take advantage of that. All right. The three things. Number one is just my gratitude, actually. So I have alluded to the fact, because some of you might be listening for the first time, and I want to welcome you to the show, but I have alluded to the fact that I promised and wanted to release season two of the podcast this month of August, and how that's not going to end up happening. But What has been amazing is that even though I haven't released a new episode in a few weeks, and we've been in between season one and season two of the show, I've still had new followers and new subscribers to the show. And I'm so grateful to those of you who have taken that step, right? Sometimes I listen to podcast shows that I love and I forget to hit subscribe and I end up missing out. So it's it's kind of a a sad thing for me, But, but taking that step to just hit subscribe and to show your interest it really means a lot to your podcast host. So if you do enjoy a podcast, that will make your podcast host day when you go and hit subscribe. But it, it means a lot to me more specifically because this show is something I do really just for my benefit of getting to talk to really amazing guests, but also for you. And it's not something I'm paid to do. Maybe in the future we'll have sponsors, but right now, I'm not paid to do it. The show is sponsored by my own fitness company, which means the time I invest in putting this show together, which I do produce myself. I don't know if you could tell that or not, Uh, but everything I do for the show, getting the guests together, interviewing them, editing the shows, that's all done by me and I'm not paid extra and it, it actually takes time from my business, but I do it because I'm really passionate about sharing health and fitness related information and inspiration with you, even if you are not a formal paying client of mine over at Fit Armadillo. And so the fact that you are expressing interest in what I have to offer you here on the podcast and are enjoying it enough to hit subscribe or to hit follow means a lot to me. So my first just point here is to say thank you. Thank you for following the show in between seasons or from the beginning if, you, if you've been a longtime subscriber However many episodes you've listened to, it means so much. I, I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, you guys are awesome. Guys and gals are awesome. So if you want to be even more awesome, there is one thing you can do. Maybe a few things you can do. <laughs> I'm asking a lot, right, for someone who is past her deadline here. But head on over to iTunes or Stitcher. Leave us a review wherever you listen to podcasts because that, in addition to following and or subscribing to the show is going to make a really big difference too and help people find the show. So that would be something else you could do that would really make my day. 
as I go into part two of this episode, which is really what has happened behind the scenes. Where have I been? Am I okay? Am I alive? If you follow Fit Armadillo on social media, which is my fitness company, as I mentioned, you have probably realized that I'm still alive. Unfortunately, my computer was not so sure it wanted to be existing. Uh, About a month ago, it decided to just... I don't know, I guess rebel on me. I was getting ready to record a new episode of the podcast, you know, getting ahead on things, feeling really good. And I looked at my computer and it was looking a little bit full on storage. So I decided to take out my hard drive. I've been trying to be really good about backing up my computer because, believe it or not, last July I had a computer that totally shut down on me as well. So I've been trying to be really good about backing everything up and went to go do that and had a few episodes that were on the computer. So it was really important and I hadn't been able to edit them yet. So they were all raw episodes. So a lot of data and my computer refused to back up those files and it refused to do anything else. So it was still on and functioning, I guess, in theory, but it it wasn't useful. So I basically ended up spending, long story short, a full week going back and forth from the computer store, you're getting one step forward, but then having to do another thing. And it seems like the computer's okay now. We're gonna knock on some wood. It could be fake wood, I hope that doesn't matter. I'm not really sure what this desk is made out of. But it was basically, as you can imagine, as someone who runs a business that is based online, it was just not a good situation in terms of being able to get the podcast ready for you, and attend to everything else. I actually had an event in Houston, Texas a few days after my computer initially went down that I wanted to have my computer available bef- available for in addition to just some things I wanted to prepare that didn't, didn't all get done either. So it just was bad timing, but is there ever good timing for technology woes? Probably not. But that's, that's basically what, it, what happened. And I really thought about pushing things forward and just pulling all-nighters and doing all that stuff and, and, you know, going crazy to make the deadline of August. But I decided against that because it it just, there was no way. (laughs) And I wanted to make sure I was ahead of things for you each week, having the episodes ready and prepared versus scrambling each week and not, and not having, you know, good guests for you and, having a podcast show I could be proud of and and things I would be proud to share with you. So that's basically what happened. Big technology snafu. Still working through that. Still haven't looked at every single file. The good news is, I hope I'm not jinxing myself, but it it doesn't seem like any of those raw files were corrupted or anything. They should all still, excuse me, still be there. (laughs) Um, They should still be there. They look like they're there. I just have to go through all them because I was trying to be really ambitious and have a lot of the episodes ready before we launch. So that's what's been going on. I hope you can forgive me. And to help you forgive me, though, I've decided to do something tomorrow, which is why I keep bringing up the date. Tomorrow is August 30th, 2018. It's a Thursday. And at 3.30 p.m. for me here on the West Coast, which will be 6.30 p.m. for my East Coast U.S listeners and 4 30 p.m mountain time 5 30 p.m central time it might be a little early i did do a vote through the fit armadillo a list so if you're not on that list and didn't get to vote and are mad at the time make sure you get on the list for the future but that was the best time for the most people so what i'm going to host and what i'm going to do is host a free online workshop that's going to teach you how to jumpstart your healthy lifestyle. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is really, uh, let me tell you my main goal for this workshop. My main goal for the workshop is to scare you and have you not want to try a diet ever again. So if you like going on diets, if they're your jam, if you you know like trying all the latest trendy diets, it's probably not going to be a fun workshop for you. But if you hate going on diets and you want to learn how to make some changes that are going to be long lasting, figure out how to get a good workout routine that you can do at home, this is going to be a great workshop for you. It's basically the same tips I share with my Drop Two Sizes Challenge participants. So my Drop Two Sizes Challenge is a 10-week online fitness program that is limited to 10 participants. We are about halfway full right now, so I'm not even sure if we'll have spots by the time 
I actually host that workshop, which is good for you because, in case you missed it, this is going to happen anyways. My, my goal is not to have you sign up for the challenge. My goal is to provide you with the tools to replicate what I do in the challenge on your own. So empower you to make changes that will be long lasting, have your questions answered. Like I said, my main goal might seem silly, but I really don't like diets because what they end up doing is just making you sad because they are set up really to make you fail and maybe not intentionally, I don't know. I haven't I haven't had a friend that was a diet, but just the way that your body works, if you go on one diet after another, you might have success in the short term, but it's not going to be a long-term success and there's reasons for that that are not your fault. So if you've gone through, and I've the reason I'm so passionate about this and, and want to help people not be on diets is that I've had many clients come to me who struggled because they went on one diet after another and they were struggling to lose weight and they weren't feeling confident in themselves or feeling were feeling really down on themselves for not being able to be successful. And it was never their fault. It's not your fault if you've had that experience. And so that's what I'm going to do is host an online workshop on the strategies that you can use. You can replicate this for yourself. So I'll try to keep it basic, but then I'll leave time for questions and answers. So come with any of your questions. Um, you know, just general, more specific. I'm happy to answer them for you. The workshop will be live, as I mentioned, at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. But if technology cooperates, which I hate to say that I'm not confident in technology because I run a business that relies on technology, but I just, I, I would just say, if you can get there live, that would be the best best option because sometimes... The replays don't always come out, but there will be an option for you to sign up to get the replay if you aren't able to make it live. So check out the show notes for today's episode, sign up for that free online workshop, learn how you can drop two sizes in 10 weeks or less the healthy way. That's the main theme of it. Get yourself scared out of trying a diet or detox or cleanse in the future. Feel empowered and ready to learn how to do things the healthy way so you're able to get lasting results. And keep me company. It's always more fun to do these workshops when I do them with real people listening in real time than to just ramble on to myself. So that's what I have going on for you. Those are my three things. First, as I mentioned, just expressing, and I still am very grateful to those of you who have listened to this whole episode, which is now actually almost going to be 15 minutes long. This is why I need to have guests because I ramble when I just talk by myself. It's not good. So Gratitude. I still am grateful for all of you who are listening and still listening right now. I do want to remind you to subscribe to the show if you haven't, because once we do come back, which will be in September, so that's the update. We're going to be back in September. My plan is September 10th. I do have my Drop Two Sizes Challenge starting September 10th as well, and so that's getting ready for that has been a little bit, uh, you know, keeping me a little bit slower as my timeline for the podcast has run into my timeline of things that have to get done to prepare for my awesome participants in the challenge. But that's my plan for you. So you should, that's that's a tentative date. I don't want to make any promises after what's happened this month. But if you subscribe, you'll get a notification as soon as we go live. And then, you know, once we are in the regular season, I release a new episode every single day of the work week, so five days a week. So even if you don't feel like listening to me or the guest I have for that given day, I encourage you to use that little subscription reminder, the reminder that there's a new episode, as your reminder to get up and get moving sometime during the day to enjoy all the benefits of getting moving for at least 15 minutes a day, which is what I want you to do when you're listening to the podcast. It's why I have the podcast show, besides just providing you with inspiration and information from my guests, providing you with a reminder to get up and get moving because there's so many benefits that you can get for your health, your happiness, your overall well-being by getting moving for just 15 minutes. It might seem ridiculous that 15 minutes could have such a big impact, but it's true. So I challenge you to try that out either today or another day and subscribe so you get those reminders. And I hope to hang out with you tomorrow, August 30th, 2018, for that free live online workshop. You're welcome to share that with friends. It will not be a high-pressure sales thing. It's just going to be informational and my way of thanking you for your patience. So come, bring your questions. If you have questions in advance that you would like to share with me, you can always email me, Catherine, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, at fitarmadillo.com. 
If you have any tips or questions or guests you want to hear on the podcast, the better email for that, it just helps me sort it better, is podcast at fitarmadillo.com. We are at 15 minutes. I don't have time to edit in the halfway point reminder. I hope everyone's okay with that. If you're a new listener, welcome. Thanks for bearing with me here. Usually I have a little halfway point chime that you will hear when the episode is over. So not over. I'm sorry. When we're at seven and a half minutes of the episode and I didn't do that today and I don't think I have time to edit it in, but I appreciate you for listening. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and thank you so much for your support from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. If you subscribe, I will chat with you again on the podcast in September. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time.